last March 2015, I first heard Dr. Wallach on uh, Coast to Coast. That's the first you heard of him? Yes, and I was wow. so inspired. I, I was so inspired that the next day I called and uh, started on the Healthy Body Pack. How long? Now, how long ago was this? A couple months ago, you said? No, last March, 2000. Oh, last March. Okay, that's, good. That's okay, what, a year ago, a year ago almost. What have you noticed? I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you there. Ed. What have you noticed in the last ten months or so? So want to introduce you to what I've accomplished. I've started a website, even though I had no interest in computers, just to show people what I've accomplished at 80 years old. Wow! In in nine months. Well, what's I the think. website? What's well, the website? The website is Superfood Only Diet Jorgan. My name is Jorgan. Superfood Only Diet Jorgan, and there's a picture. Showing what I've accomplished at 80 years old. Uh, I've been a health practitioner for many years. I've uh, been on many programs, and I've always believed in using my own body as a laboratory in a nice. way nice. to check out how things work. So I always have to distill it down to eliminating almost everything except just the products that I want to test. So at this time, I am living just on flaxseed, uh, hemp seed and chia seeds, those are the only foods I'm eating. Wow. Now, but I live on uh, all the supplement powders, including the pollen burst powders, and I get uh, extra gluten, uh, glucogel, and selenium, and uh, some of those that I feel like the sweet ease and the digestive enzymes, and uh, so those are the extra things that I take. Uh, well, how you but, doing? How's your health? How, how you feeling? How's your blood pressure? Are you on any medication? Tell us about tell, tell us about you. So many things have happened, like the, my hair coloring is coming back. At 80 wow. years old, I'm starting to get blonde strands in my hair. Wow. Brown spots that were forming on my hands and my face and various places on my body have begun to fade. Some of them just completely gone. Wow. Of course, I have no arthritis left at all. I've oh, always awesome. done yield, but I've never been so limber. You'll see in that picture I'm in full lotus. I, 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 want, used... Ed, I want you to give me that website one more time. I wasn't quite understanding it. Superfoods. Super food only diet. Jordan. Spell Jordan. J O R D E N. J O R G A N. Jordan. And it's dot com? No, just Superfood Only Diet Jordan. And you'll get to the website. Okay, cool. Superfood Only uh, Diet Jordan. I am now a distributor of, uh, of uh, Longevity's products. And. Uh, well, the question I want to ask you is uh, I have tried so many different approaches to improving my health over the years, and one of the things I did was to cut out all animal foods for a while. Now, when I heard Wallach say it was so important to eat eggs, uh, now I eat nothing cooked in the past. Uh, I went to completely raw for five years before I even heard Wallach Uh now, uh, my question is, I eat my eggs raw in the superfood drinks. It's awesome. That's the way to do it. As long as it's uh, fresh, as long as the shell. You know, you do run a very, very, very slight risk of salmonella, depending on the freshness of the egg and, and whether it's cracked and, and such. But for the most part, you want it raw. That's the best way to do it. Make sure you're doing your B vitamins with it. You can lose, uh, you can lose some of the Bs with uh, raw eggs. So make sure you're doing your B vitamins. But aside from, aside from that, uh, if you have your Bs and your, the egg is fresh, you definitely want to do it raw. That's the way to go. And eggs, by the way, are an amazing, amazing food. They are a life. They contain an egg is a cell. You know how I, you probably heard me say this, Ed, all disease is cell disease, and all health is cell health. Well, when you eat a, an egg, you're eating a cell and all the nutrients in that cell. So you're eating everything you need to make your cells. I'm sorry, go ahead. 
an egg is like a seed. <laughs> it's basically a seed. It's a, that's basically what it is. A seed is an egg. Egg is kind of a generic word. When we say egg, we mean chicken egg. But egg is a generic word referring to egg cell, which is the, the, the seed, basically, of, of human life, of biological life. Now, I have many questions, but I'll have to keep calling you at other times sure. to get covered. Yeah, it's my but pleasure to talk to you. You're a smart guy. I like talking to smart people. And you can always send me an email, too. Uh, an email to ben at ksco.com. I'll put your phone number on there. But I'd like my listeners to hear hear your wisdom. It sounds like you've got some stuff to say, and um, it'd be nice to nice for you to share it with our listeners. You okay, see one... my phone number on my website. Please uh, call me and leave me a message as to what you think. I think you'll be surprised. Okay, good. Your... I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Superfood only diet, Jorgan. And if I just put that in the search engine, I'll get it. Right. You will. Okay, good. It's very nice to talk to you, Adam. Glad you called. Where in California are you, by the way? Orange County. Orange County, California. Well, good. Hopefully you'll come to the Anaheim Convention in April, by the way. Longevity has a convention in uh, Anaheim, uh, I think the third week of April. Yes. Okay, hopefully we'll get to see you there. Thanks for your call, Ed. God bless. Have a beautiful day, man. All right. Okay, so uh, let's see here. Got about a minute to go, 844-236-6010. I want to tell you about a couple of these articles that I pulled up. Over the weekend, this is from the journal Cancer Research. I thought this was interesting. Sugar in Western diets increases risk for breast cancer tumors and metastases. Now, we rip on sugar on this program all the time, and, and most healthcare professionals will rip on sugar. And it's not so much because we want to be, or I want to be a food Nazi, and I eat sugar, and I'm addicted to sugar like anybody else is, and we're hardwired to go for sugar. But the problem with sugar is, in terms of our health anyway, or, or one of the problems with sugar is, is cancer loves sugar. Cancers are sugar feeders. And we've been talking about this for years on this program. Sugar in Western diets increases risk for breast cancer tumors. Well, no kidding. Sugar, uh, cancer feeds on sugar. This is the hallmark sign of a, of a cancer cell, is it's utilizing sugar as opposed to utilizing oxygen. It's a much less efficient way for cells to, uh, to do their business. And that's why cancer cells, or one of the reasons cancer cells don't do their business. I did a, a very lo- a long piece on cancer, by the way. It uh, should be posted up at PharmacistBen.com or CriticalHealthNews.com here in the next couple of days. If anybody ever tells you we don't know what causes cancer, they don't know what they're talking about because we do know good and well what the primary cause of cancer is. It involves oxygen and it involves sugar. All right. We've got more to say here about vitamin E and the liver and vitamin E and the skin and vitamin E and metabolic syndrome and vitamin E supplementation. And tomorrow we'll talk about the eight different types of vitamin E. Why you may not be getting your vitamin E, uh, maximizing your vitamin E benefits with just alpha to All right. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Have yourself a spectacular, awesome, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. 